Stephen Adams as he reflects back in a life growing up as the youngest of 18 children back in New Zealand. So, like, the youngest over there has to do everything, like, all chores, pretty much 18 years of being a rookie. That's pretty much all it is, and people just beat you up for no reason. <laughs> Hard to imagine growing up in such a huge family, but it sounds like maybe it prepared him for life in the NBA. Yeah, got him outside of himself and toughened him up a little bit. No question about that. Wow, 18? That's, yeah. that's mind-boggling. That is amazing. Yep. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. Guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? You know, it's been about how solid they've been offensively here, really tuned in with one another. Good ball moving, and it's paid off on the scoreboard. So for Oklahoma City right now, Westbrook the point with Waiters at the two. Inside, you've got Ibaka and Cantor, and it's Morrow in at the three slot. And for Russell Westbrook, a heroic effort last season, but but not necessarily an efficient one. He averaged 28 points a game, which led the league, but shot a five-year low of 43% to get those points. And he led the league in turnover average, but that's also because he's got such a high volume usage now with all the injuries. Here's Rose following the score by Oklahoma City. Dunleavy kicks to Gibson, fires the three, and Dunleavy is good for three. Dunleavy's got the lead up to 13 now for Chicago. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. Now here's Waiters. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Oh, Greg in the topic of Westbrook. No one's questioning his heart and his will. It was unbelievable what he did after Durant went down. But, but Clark, the truth is, it's hard to make the playoffs playing inefficient basketball. No, I agree. I mean, there are certain guys who are catalysts and other guys who make things happen. And Iverson, Ginobili, Russell's old teammate, James Harden. Those guys make things happen, and you have to live with some of their inefficiency at times. <laughs> and guys, Deion Waiters is a man who has never met a shot he didn't like. Despite shooting less than 40% from the field last season, he just kept on shooting. Now, every once in a while, he'd get hot, and, and it would look good. But when he's off, which was most of the time, it didn't look very good. He's got to improve shot selection and shot discipline. Now, here's Westbrook. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Ibaka, the pass to Cantor. And Ibaka slams it in. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? Ray getting back to Waiters, there's a reason the Cavaliers dealt the former fourth overall pick in the draft. Not only did he shoot poorly, but Clark, he averaged less than two assists a game. Yeah, I think it's a mindset adjustment with Waiters. I've loved his talent and his ability to make plays and shots. Now he just has to recalibrate his thinking so he can be effective in the role he's asked to play. Thunder trailing by 11. Outside Westbrook, screened by Ibaka. Westbrook dishes to Waiters. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. To the middle, here's Noah. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. With Joe Kim Noah, I mean, you know exactly what he's going to give you every season. Rebounding, block shots, steals a few points, relentless energy and enthusiasm, and even a few assists as well. He's perfect from the line this time. And Joe Kim Noah, he's all about doing whatever it takes to help his club succeed. Always has been. Greg, he did the dirty work when he played inside at Florida. When they won back-to-back -back championships, he's done it in each and every NBA season in Chicago. And you just hit on it. I mean, he bites, he scratches, he claws his way into the to the upper echelon in terms of elite centers in our league. And in 2014, was named All NBA first team as well 
as Defensive Player of the Year. Let's just hope he's healthy this season to get back to that level. Here's Morrow. And Waiters kicks to Morrow. Wide open look. And Ennis Kanter picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Rose. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan said to the team. The strategy included running the offense through Russell Westbrook. Coach stressed the importance of getting the ball in his hands as soon as possible at the start of their possessions. No question he's going to be the key guy for them offensively. I'm sure Coach is hoping those changes turn the tide in this game and shrink the deficit before halftime. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Offensive rebound, Gibson, and it's blocked by Ibaka. And the Thunder pushing it up now, and Butler sends it back. And they'll keep possession. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. That's good. Dunleavy's got five points now this quarter. He does not play the score. I mean, he's going to continue to work his tail off on the glass and make plays just like that. The wide open look here for Ibaka. Again, Ibaka missing. And the Thunder had plenty of reason to be down last year because of the injuries. A big place that it hit them was on offense. They just were not the same absent, mainly Kevin Durant. Now here's Waiters. He dishes it to Cantor. Takes it from 10. The rebound by Gibson. 129 left to play here in the half. Here's Dunleavy. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Paul Gasol's checked in for Noah. Miritich comes in for Taj Gibson. Tony Snell's checked in for Buck. And Brooks subbed in for Rose. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Adams, he's checked in for Cantor. McGarry comes in for Serge Ibaka. Kevin Durant's checked in for Anthony Morrow. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Waiters. And Chicago has possession following the three from Kevin Durant. There's a minute left to play here in the second quarter. McGarry passes to Augustine. There's the pick to the middle. Here's Adams. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. And going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. In their meetings last year, they split the season series. Happens a fair amount between teams from the East and West. And, you know, when you only see a team twice a year, Greg, it's hard to really get a good understanding of who they are or a good feel for them. And oftentimes, that can lead to a series split. Count that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Durant. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. Outside Westbrook with one on the clock. And that's not going to go. And that does it for the first half of play.